Hello and welcome to Western Carolina Television. I'm Chandler Marlowe. And I'm Alexia Peoples, and this is your Catamount TV Holiday Special. The semester has came to an end as we start preparing for the holidays. It's almost time to end the semester off with a good note. Finals are approaching and it's time to get your studying on. I wish all my Catamount fellows good luck as they prepare for their final exams. May the odds be in your favor. Chandler, how are you feeling about exams coming up? Well, personally, Alexa, I think it will definitely be a stressful time, but thankfully, campus leaders have come up with a way to make exam week just a little better. Get ready to rock it right into fun with We Take Off, hosted by the Freshman Leadership Initiative. Unlike most events that take place in only one room, event goers can visit several rooms or stations in the University Center to participate in different fun activities. A total of eight rooms will be used featuring activities such as mini golf, tarot card readings, and board games. The event will take off, pun intended, on Monday, December 13th from 5 to 9 p.m. The Silver Christmas Parade kicked off on December 5th with laughter, dance, music, and a chance to see Santa. Jackson County Game came together today with the theme Down Home Christmas with more than 50 floats starting and ending around the Mark Watson Park. The one hour celebration was welcoming and exciting for everyone who came out and enjoyed the town of Silva. Well, with people ringing in the holiday season and Christmas on its way, many will be looking forward to their favorite traditions. For some, this includes going out and watching the festive Nutcracker play. Taking place in the Bardo Arts Center, the Ballet Conservatory of Asheville will return to WCU for its fourth Nutcracker tour. The timeless classic featuring Clara and her Nutcracker doll spending the night dancing and visiting Lands of Wonder will be showing on Friday, December 10th at 7.30 and on Saturday, December 11th at 3. Tickets are on sale now. Now, you know, with holidays coming up, I can't wait personally to spend time with my family. What about you, Alexia? I love the holidays too, Chandler. Do you have any family traditions for the holidays? Well, you see, I like to kick back with the fam and watch some Christmas movies. A little bit of Home Alone, The Grinch, and Jingle All the Way, you know? <laughs> Actually, we had our own reporter, Asley Stancil, ask some students about their holiday traditions. As the holidays are approaching, many have different holiday traditions they share with their friends and family. I asked students what their holiday traditions were. Here's what I learned. Hi, my name is Mackenzie and my favorite holiday tradition is getting a tree after Thanksgiving. My holiday traditions are baking cookies or making gingerbread houses. Just Eve, me and my whole family will put on PJs and then go drive around and watch Christmas lights. I always get a live Christmas tree. We go and cut it down ourselves, which I always thought was fun. And then we decorate it together and listen to Christmas music. My family and I watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and we get red and green M&Ms and put them in a jar. And every time I say Rudolph, we close our eyes and grab an M&M and whoever has the most red M&Ms at the end of the game wins. Every year, my family, we all, um, we make ornaments and then we exchange them in this like big old uh, thing. I don't really know how to explain it, but um, each of us take our own time to make some ornament either that reflects ourselves or maybe reflects something we did that year. Um, my favorite holiday tradition would definitely be watching, we, me and my family like to watch Elf on Christmas Eve. Me and my family will go down and have a nice big lunch and then we'll go around the Christmas tree and open up as many presents as we have and, and then eventually we might even exchange some that we've hidden. My family, we like to go to my grandma's house and she cooks a big dinner for us on Christmas and we just like to enjoy each other's time. On Christmas Eve, my mom would read the Polar Express to me and my brother. Every year on Christmas Eve, my family and some of our friends, we go to a local hospital and we Christmas Carol to all the patients. Um, we tend to make just homemade cookies almost every year. And on Christmas Day, I'm always with my mom no matter what. So personally, um, for the past few years, I've been staying at a specific Airbnb for Christmas because my partner's parents do not see me as part of the family. So I stay there with my dog and my cat and my partner will come and visit me when her family is asleep. 
My holiday tradition is opening one present on Christmas Eve with my parents. And then during Christmas Day, while we're opening all the presents, we have hot chocolate um, made by my mom's Instapot. And this has been Ashley Stansel reporting for WCTV. Have a great holiday, Catamounts. When thinking about the holiday season in the mountains, you have to talk about the real world. I have with me Austin Ross, freelance photograph and train enthusiast. So Austin, how do you work as a freelance photographer for the Great Smoky Mountains? What made you interested in trains? Well, thanks for having me, Alexia. Um, I guess it has to do with the constant exposure I had to just the whole railroad thing growing up as a kid. Uh, I grew up in a little town called Stanley, North Carolina, for about 15 years of my life. And then in 2016, uh, we moved to uh, Belmont, North Carolina, which is where I currently live. And the cool thing about both these houses was that I had train tracks in the backyard. So there were trains constantly going by. And I, I guess, you know, over time, uh, it just kind of grew on me after being exposed that long. And it's uh, just something I've gravitated towards. You know, some kids get into fire trucks or boats or planes or, you know, what have you. But that was just kind of what I stuck with and it's it's been fun and it's opened a lot of doors for me in terms of like traveling and whatnot so yeah it's been really cool so tell me about the train station around the area and what's it done for the holidays why is it a big impact in the area well the first one that comes to mind um the only really one around here anymore is uh, the one in bryson city north carolina and this this train station is particularly it's the hub for the great smoky mountains railroad and this is where they uh, they run their excursions out of. They have one that goes to the Nantahala Outdoor Center uh, west, and then they have an eastbound train that goes to Dillsboro. And um, uh, they do lots of like fun, festive stuff as well, especially around December. Um, yeah, and it's it's really good for the community. It gets a lot of people, you know, touring in this area. Okay, have you yourself experienced the train? <laughs> uh, I've actually not ridden the train. Uh, you know, you, you'd, you'd think I would after being in the trains for so long. I haven't ridden, per se, but I have done a lot of photography work for them. Um, they have one, uh, they did one train a couple weeks ago I actually photographed that went to um, Whittier, halfway between Bryson and Dillsboro. And at Whittier, they had this whole, like, North Pole uh, set up with, you know, Santa and all the, you know, Christmas-themed things. And um, I took about four or five remote flashes and set them up around the train tracks. And when the train came by, you know, I clicked my picture and uh, it's just a really neat effect, especially with like, they have like Christmas lights on the train. So it, it just adds to the whole holiday feel. And it's, it's, um, it's really special and really, really unique to this, to this area. Okay. And finally, why should someone go to the holiday train? Um, I think if you're looking for a nice like Christmas themed pastime to do, whether you like trains or not, it's, it's a good thing to go to. Cause you know, like, especially if you have kids, cause you know, you can like, you, you know, have like wear your pajamas or whatever, bring your hot cocoa, and they have like pictures with Santa Claus when you get off the train. And um, it's, it's overall just a, a good thing to do in this area if you're looking for some Christmas themed stuff. So. Okay, you heard it here for, first, folks. Here's Austin, thank you for your time. Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> it's smelling so good over here. Hey Chandler, what's going on over there? Well, Alexia, that smell you're smelling, it's not what The Rock's cooking, it's what Luke's cooking, because we're going to make some holiday cookies today. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. That's it's, right. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Uh-huh, So, yeah. basically, you want to start out with two bowls. Excuse me, you want to start out by preheating the oven to 375. Can't right, yeah, one. yeah, come on, you got you to gotta do the oven first. like. And so then after that, you're going to want to get two bowls of different sizes. In the smaller bowl, you're going to want to add about two and a half cups of flour and about a teaspoon of baking soda well, and about a half a teaspoon of baking powder. I mean, I don't know, that seems a little too much to me. Yeah, but you're not doing the demonstration, are you? So then after, I took the liberty to go ahead and, and beat the butter and sugar together, but you're gonna wanna add a cup and a half of sugar and two sticks of butter, which equals right around a cup. I mean, are you sure that's you, butter? Cause it looks more like mashed potatoes. Yeah, it's butter. So after you get this kind of mashed potato-y look, you're gonna wanna slowly add just a couple little sprinkles of your dry, just, just slowly, implement it in at a time. You wanna give it a little, little splash, like a teaspoon or so of uh, vanilla extract. Okay, no, I'm Whoop. sorry, no, that, that's- Just a splash, That's just a not splash. how my mom just, made it. That's yeah, not I'm not your cook. mom, I'm not your mom. 
Thank you. So after you add way too much vanilla, you're gonna wanna add just one egg. Just, just one egg. You wanna give it yeah, nice going. Good demonstration. Can you not, for like three seconds, can you just not talk? Okay. So you're gonna wanna add one egg. And then after you mix it all together and you get it, you get it really just smooth, you're gonna wanna get like a, another teaspoon and you wanna you scoop out little balls of uh, little balls of this dough. And after you cook it, this is what it looks like by the way. That looks like vomit. It's a sugar cookie. Okay. Okay, cool. Sure. Yeah, so then not? after you cook it for about eight to ten minutes, you're gonna end up with something right around here. And Chandler is gonna eat one of my cookies oh. and he's gonna love oh. every last bite of it. Okay, okay. And he's not going to complain You better at not all. have gotten yolk on my uh, jacket I there. I definitely did. I made sure to. Oh, all right. Well, I appreciate that. Eat a cookie. That. All right. Yeah, sure. There. I a cookie. Yeah. Can I work with, it's, like, it's Alexia great. next time? Yeah, can something? I get someone else to do this bit? Don't, don't, don't air this. I don't want this on. Ah, yeah. All right. Whatever. You know, this, this whole thing, making cookies, was just so messy. I, I, I honestly just hope that the weather was not as messy as this. Can, can, can we just cut it to you? Whew, man, exams are finally done. So glad it's done. And the weather is nice today. Oh, right, I gotta do the bit today. All right, let's, let's see what the weather's looking like. Uh, no, no, I don't want Texas weather. Phone, please, thank you. That, what? Wait, that is colorway weather? We're serious? No, no, I'm done, I'm done. Forget the bit, forget the good cheer. Editor, put in the weather. You see this? You see this? This is Christmas, it is winter. This is global warming, people! You wanted a happy message, me frolicking through a field or two? No, we're not doing that. We are not doing that. No, 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 no. Look at this. 61, 65, 67, 67, but again, and 66. You want winter weather? Sure, just wait till 1, 2, 3 a.m. 3! You want it cold? This isn't cold. This is fall! Not winter! Early spring, not winter! Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I, I can't, I can't. This bet's over, I hate this segment. Alexia, take us out. <laughs> Thanks, Hugh. Now I would like to introduce a very special guest, Spencer Lee. <laughs> Well, that's the show, Catamounts. We've had a blast creating the news for you both in front and off behind the camera this semester. We also wanted to thank an individual who will be leaving us after this semester, Bryson Rodier, our money man and the expert director and cameraman. From all of us here at WCTV, have a very happy holiday, Catamounts.